few days back, we brought before you a video showing how international universities have been used as a hub for anti-Indian activities, targeted at Indian elections at the behest of Congress ecosystem. Now, once again, a university in US, the Tufte University, has invited Peter Frederich as its speakers to speak on an event today titled Unpacking the Manipur Conflict. You must be thinking, what's anti-India or what's fishy about the event? The name Peter Frederich in itself is a dubious and fishy personality. Let me unfold his dark webs before you one by one. Peter is a frontman of designated terrorist Bhajan Singh Bhinder, who worked with ISI on K2 desk to break India, an Abrahamic supremacist who hates India. Peter is a self-proclaimed South Asian expert who changed his name to Peter Singh just to fit in the Khalistani ideology. Association of Peter with Bhajan Singh also allegedly makes him associated with Bhinder's Organization for Minorities of India, which had launched attacks on Second World Hindu Congress. Peter has written several anti-Indian books titled Bharat Band and Dalit Struggle Against Dehumanization, Gandhi Racist or Revolutionary, Saffron Fascists, India's Hindu Nationalist Rulers, and has even co-authored two books with Bhajan Singh, namely Captivating the Simple Hearted, A Struggle for Human Dignity in the Indian Subcontinent, and Kite Fights, The Proxy War Behind Kabul Gurudwara Massacre. He even gets support from INC ecosystem, especially Lavanya BJ. Peter was allegedly involved with an overseas INC worker and was then also withheld in India last year due to a legal demand by the union government. However, the INC never came up with a clarification as to what an overseas worker of theirs was doing with Frederich. Peter is also quite friendly with anti-India congressman Roh Khanna. Formerly a member of the Pakistani caucus, is currently a member of the India caucus. Now I'll show you a list of shady organizations with whom Peter is linked with. Safety Net Transport, Sovereign Star Publishing, Sikh Information Center, Biba Insurance, Saffron Express, Gadar Inc., Dake Take Inc., and Sikh Youth of America. Also, despite having links with another dubious organization, Collective Against Violence and Abuse of Civil and Human Rights in India, Peter also has a connection with Tamil Nadu's DMK. Yes, in 2019, DMK's parent organization, DK's Viramani, visited the US for the 141th birthday anniversary of E.V. Ramaswamy Naikar period, where he was hosted by Peter Frederich and his ISI buddy Bhajan Singh Bhinder. Frederich, who claims not to hold extreme Christian values, is in reality a staunch believer of his religion, which became evident after he tweeted pictures of his hand in 2020, where he has a tattoo of Christian cross on his hand. Peter has also constantly linked RSS with Nazis, fascists, Hindu nationalists, and even used derogatory terms for PM Modi. For instance, he says Modi has blood on his hands, or talking about PM Modi can get people into real hot water. He had even called out Americans as complicit in Modi's crime against humanity. Peter also leaves no opportunity in disgracing Indian history. Once he claimed before the press that today under Modi's iron-fisted regime, Christians, Dalits, Muslims, Sikhs and every Hindu who disagrees with the hate, violence and supremacy of the RSS lives in fear of their lives. Peter has also been a constant contributor to left and Islamist leaning news portals and propaganda machinery like The Wire, The Quint, Youth Ki Awaaz, Aereo Magazine, The Eastern Herald, The Caravan, Two Circles, The Police Project, Six Siyasat News and The Kochi Post. Surprisingly, such shady characters like Peter are being invited to speak on India's internal issues, Manipur in this case. It is not a surprising fact that just ahead of the Indian elections, this ecosystem is activated where seminars and workshops are being organized to weaponize social media to influence voters in election and then groom them to work for their interest of deep state.